What's up? What's up, divas? What's up? I'm looking at the camera like something is missing. However, I didn't open the flip screen, but we just going to use this computer here as the monitor. But as blind as I am, like, I really need to see, like, myself all over the place. Like, wouldn't that be just amazing if I was just all over the place? You could just see me all over the place. It'd be cool. I'd be with you all the time. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Anyway, what's up, divas? What's up, divos? You know what I'm saying? Try to get up on here, really like chill today. Make sure they nice and red. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my chill time. It's Saturday, so we about to chill and do this wig tutorial. Look, really, I was trying to be cute too in the midst of doing the wig tutorial. So I had through this little jazzy, jazzy shirt on that I got from Rainbow off the clearance rack. But girl, it's hot. You know what's making me freaking hot? This goddamn um, waist trainer. Okay, so let me tell y'all real quick before we even start this video. I'm the type of person, and I don't mean to do this, but I will buy something and forget that I purchased it and then buy another one. Like months later, it could be a year later. I really was going to purchase a new waist trainer. I think I told y'all that before because one of the bonings that came out, and I actually did go to the store the other day, and the girl was like, you don't need the other one, a new one, unless you are concerned about your posture. People take out their boning all the time. She said it works perfectly the same without the boning, which is only for the posture and I was like okay thank you so much she's like but you honestly don't need another one and I thought that was really decent of her because them things was like $75 and I always go there and you know I purchased like two of them from them and $75 is not cheap and it's not really expensive but you know what I'm saying for her just to be honest like that and tell me that and lose out on that sale was like Wow, I found that to be really, really like noble of her. So I go in my drawer today and lo and behold, I see some other latex. Now, I thought it was just my my um, my vest, my latex vest. So I was like, oh, please, I'm not even about to pull this out. We already know it's not even going to close on you, girl. That was like 25,000 years ago when you could wear that thing, okay? But, you know, I hold it for safe measures because you never know. You, you, you never know. You might just get a little smaller up there. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not next month. Maybe not even next year. But maybe one day, okay? I just, you know, hold on tight to it because them things ain't cheap neither. Girl, I found another waist trainer in my drawer. It was a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I always wear. I think... It feels like I have it on like the second hook, okay? That's what it feels like, but it also feels a little bit more firm. Girl, I've been wearing this thing all day, okay? I feel like right now is the time to take it off. And maybe not all day, maybe like five, five, six hours, right? Okay, six hours, six and a half hours. I really feel like, you know what, April, it's time to remove that. How are you going to do a tutorial video postured up? Girl, you need to relax for the video. And on top of that, I feel like it's making me hot. You know what I'm saying? Like extra added heat that I really don't need right now. But I'm going to try to bear it out, you know, because beauty is pain, they say. And I'm really trying to lose the stomach area. That's it. Just the stomach area. So if y'all see me pass out on camera while doing this hair tutorial wig video for my first wigs, okay, call 911, somebody. And until the meantime, we're going to jump right into this. Well, I don't know about jumping, but we're going to step into this video. Can I get yours? 
you guys what's up real quick i don't want to hold y'all for too long because y'all already know the normal stuff that i go through so i'm gonna just take this hair clip right here and then i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take my comb and i'm gonna part directly above my ear that's because i don't want the wig to be over flapping overflowing too big on my head circumference so i take the part i take excuse me i take the comb i part right above my ear right there and then i take my thread snips you can use any type of scissors and i just cut right where that part is at it does not take away from the wig you guys it does not destroy it it actually helps you out in the long run because you do want a comfortable wig up against your head girl okay now the next part i would hope that you all would do this would cut the lace off but once again we're going to go back into the opposite side and we're going to do the same thing with the customization you don't have to do this with every wig that you purchase it all depends each person's head size is different and each company's size is a little bit different so just take that into consideration sometimes you got to cut a lot i do know there's one company in particular where girl i feel like i can make a toupee if i just um sew both sides together that i have cut off but, but like i said each company is different now this step is optional you don't have to do this but i like sideburn hairs and i like wispy hairs too better known probably as baby hairs but i am an adult so I like to call them wispy hairs and I'm going to cut them to the desired length that I prefer. And like I said, this is optional. With a My First Wigs lace front unit, you do not need to make any baby hairs. But some of you guys may want to because you have a long head like myself and want to camouflage some of that. So girl, do you. Okay. Now for today's video of sculpting my hairs, I was using a mascara wand. I had a lot of those on hand, but I actually forgot the tool that I needed, so I didn't feel like getting up. Now some of y'all may say, girl, I'm not going to use that Dollar Tree hair styler mousse. Go right ahead and be bougie and sleep on the styler mousse if you want to. I've been using this for years. This has been out since when I was a child. So this is not any kind of real Dollar Tree product. This is a good hair product. And I, I'm not a big fan of their particular hairspray, but the styling mousse is on point. And you will see me use this in every single video. And for those videos that I have not used the Salon Selective Styling Mousse, trust me girl when I tell you I wish I had, okay? Now do y'all see the hairline on this puppy? Well, you're not seeing it right now because I'm covering up. This is what I'm calling an unforgettable lace wig. Unforgettable. You know, like Nat King Cole, unforgettable. You know that song, right? Okay, unforgettable. This is a wig that you cannot forget. You can't forget that you didn't have to fight with the lace. You can't forget that you couldn't see the lace. You can't forget, oh, you do forget that you are rocking at my first wigs. This is what I call an unforgettable wig. Like, have you ever had a wig 
that put you in so much bliss, so much happiness that you didn't have to do anything. And that's just what I like a lot about the My First Wigs, honey. You ain't got to do anything. And look at this beauty. This is a beautiful, straight, layered cut. I love the color in it. I love the smooth and silkiness of this wig, y'all. This is 100% Indian Remy, 160% density, and 20 inches layered, baby doll. Layered, okay? With the bombest Swiss tinted transparent lace ever that melts into your brain. Honey melts into your brain, not the scalp, the brain. That's how unforgettable this wig is. Now, if you want to wear it straight, by all means, you can rock this straight. But I just want to see the curling power that this hair can withstand. I got this curling wand on the highest temp. There's no temp control like one, 200, 300. It's, it's off and on, that's it. But it does go up to 450. That's that's what it goes to. So I take it that it's, it's that at that because it does get pretty darn hot. That is the hot curler actually. That gave me the mark of the beast on my forehead right there. If you see that little light mark right there in the middle of my hair, that right there is the mark of the beast that I received last weekend while doing a hair tutorial. And that so-called hot curling wand that only has an on and off switch burnt me bad within 1.5 seconds, okay? So I know for a fact that it gets pretty darn hot. Look at this, this wig is beautiful, beautiful girl. guys so this one turned out so cute it curled really nice um this turned out really really nice okay i really do like the flow of this particular hair the color is bomb you know my first wigs always got like some really bomb wigs girls don't even front i just really think like all their wigs are pretty even if it's something that's not my style girl it just looks so natural and realistic that you can't help but to like it the lace is so transparent it's tinted and i didn't have to do anything to this one like so far so good for me to have done nothing i really appreciate the fact that they do a awesome decent job on the units and they take their time and there are several options that you can choose from you can very nice parting and super duper chic like i like the color this looks is like a fall like look very classy and fall like but girl you could wear this with anything either way this is a really nice unit i will definitely link everything down below for you guys on that note i got to go uh got to do another video i love you all stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up and happy holidays you know thanksgiving about to come girl so you know happy holidays um, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I love you all. Bye. Go, go, go.